How was that? I am gonna try to make a Star Wars scene using Blender in one week. We're gonna be scrappy, but we're gonna use some really cool techniques to make this thing feel like it's in a Star Wars movie. Stick around if you love the franchise and if you're curious to see some of the tips and tricks that I'm using to make this dream a reality. Let's see how we do it. Hello there. If you've been following the channel for a while, you should know that I'm pretty into Star Wars. Some of my favorite pieces of work have been Star Wars based, and I think a large part of that has to do with how cool I thought the series was growing up. Lightsabers? Badass. The Force? Badass. Droids? Okay, the droids aren't badass, but they're pretty cool. Bounty Hunters? Badass. A New Hope premiered in 1977, and since then, there has been a lot of Star Wars content brought to the big screen. Some of it has been really cool. And some of it has been... Piece of dog sh Because Star Wars has been around for so long, this means that there are a ton of free and accessible assets on the internet for us VFX artists to create our own Star Wars scenes that we wish they made. That's the title of the video. All right, we got a bunch of Star Wars stuff, and I know that I want to take the effect from The Force Awakens and push it just a bit further. So instead of Kylo, we're gonna make our lead badass Pharma Boy Luke. And instead of just stopping the blaster and sending it out nowhere, I kind of want to have it be like Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, he like whistles and zips the arrow back and forth and kills like 30 dudes at once. It's crazy. We're going to do something like that. Keeping in mind that I only have one week to finish this, we're going to stay organized and we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it as simple as possible. So that was a fucking lie. So this was my first time using my $30 Wacom tablet to create storyboards, but I do have to say it was a really fun and efficient way to visualize my initial ideas. All right, but I know what you want. You want to hear the idea of what am I doing? What is this awesome, epic, cool scene going to be? All right, here's the breakdown. Some troopers beat you. Then the rookie's like, yo, what is that? The other trooper is like, I got this. <laughs> Creeps in, shoots his blaster to reveal the badass Luke, stopping him. Whoa, how is he doing that? And then, the end. I spent some time pulling my assets together, got my references in check, and now it's time to get this ball rolling. For this little challenge, since I only have a week, all of my animations are going to be coming from the amazing 3D resource Mixamo. You may have seen me use it a couple times in the past. It has been a great tool for when I need to get something out the door in a pinch. Now, the animations are good, but they don't always fit how you would like them to. For example, we have this trooper here who's idle, but I kind of need him to be holding the gun. The problem is, in the animation, he's not initially doing so. What we need to do is push down this animation, and then we can keyframe individual limbs. I had made adjustments like these for almost every shot. This is a great way to make your Mixmo animations a little bit more you, a little bit more unique. I also knew that I wanted to use this little roly-poly droid to help tell my narrative a little bit, but Mixmo doesn't have any roly-poly animations. I didn't let that stop me though. And to my surprise, the droid might be my favorite detail of this whole thing. Thank you, noise modifier. As I started to get through my first couple scenes, I noticed that it would be really effective and efficient if I threw all of my shots into their own collections. This way I could avoid massive render drops. I have heard of a plugin that sort of makes exporting different camera angles a little bit easier, and I'm going to be looking into that. Maybe I'll talk about it in my next video. Animating was taking a little longer than I had initially expected, so I decided to shoot out low-res versions to pre-composite so I could make more educated decisions on where we wanted to take some of these shots. This helped me a ton throughout the process. At this point, I was actually kind of proud of what we had got done. It was checking all of the boxes so far. Just don't look at this. Jesus this doesn't look Christ. very good. Oh, hey, how do I do that? We don't gotta worry about this. There's no time. Ah, okay. So, the file is way too big to record anymore. But just believe me, okay? I did it, all right? And it was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. With about 48 hours left, I made all my final tweaks, rendered every final shot, did all the sound design, because I waited too long to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a blast making it as well as my last one. I really appreciate all the kind words on these breakdowns and if you enjoy seeing them, please let me know as well as what you'd wanna see for the next one. Enjoy.
please. Oh, you haven't trained me. <laughs> 